Hi there, my name is Elder Moraes, I am a Cloud Evangelist at Oracle, and today I'm going to talk to you about data consistency using Bing Validation. Bing Validation API makes it easier to validate and consist your data before you do anything with that. Okay, So I'm just showing you a new example on how the version 2.0 just updated some new stuff and you can do it very easily in a very cool way. So let's see the demo. So we have here our customer. I just created a plain, uh, plain old Java object. So we have here some fields where I use some annotations for from Bing validation. And first of all, we have here an ID, and I use it the positive annotation. Uh, the, uh, the positive will make sure that your your integer will be positive. Okay, so if you inform an ID. Uh, less than, than zero, it won't work, it's a negative. So the second one is a not blank. On the previous version of B validation, we have just the not null. And, but you could be, you would be able to inform a not null string, but you could do that using spaces, for example. So it's a blank string. So now we have the not blank. So it should not be null and not either blank, okay? And we have also the size the size annotation that will inform the minimum and maximum size of your name, for example. And you have also the email annotation. Now you, sh you, you don't have to write your own code to, to uh, validate your email format and using the add character and so on. So you have a notation for that. And we have also the not empty uh, notation that especially for lists you you are sure that your list is not empty okay so it will validate once you are using it and what i've done here is write a unit test to try our our roles so we have here a validator from the the, the bin validation and we set once it, it, the 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 test is is going up and here we have methods for trying all those those roles for the first one just to make sure that a valid customer is real valid. So we have here a positive ID, a not blank name, a real valid email, and a list that is not empty. Okay, so this one shouldn't have any violation constraints at all. And then we try the other ones, the negative. So we are trying here a negative ID. We have a blank name with blank name here and long name with a real long name greater than 45 characters an invalid email without the at character and we have here the empty address with an empty empty list so we just try it and check if our roles are well designed and it's working so it will build the the project so it tried those six rows and no failures, no errors at all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.